Hey everybody, Terry coming back at you with another dip review. Today we are going to be dipping. Oh, gotta get it the right way too. Skull Spearmint. Yes, sir. This this is a neat little can. I like the color blue. It's kind of a lighter color, uh, nice reflective coating, uh, metallic coating. Uh, I just, I really dig that, that color of blue. Side label, nice bright blue. There is no way to mistake it for any other flavor. I mean, this sucker is actually pretty bright. A pinch better. I don't know about that, but... We'll see, shall we? Now, the date, September 13th, 2015. Now, considering that it is now still June, uh, that's, that's a pretty good date, okay? <clears throat> Let's crack her open, huh? Oh, see? I'm trying to throw the damn can around. How do you like that action, huh? All right. This is some nice dark stuff. Nice and moist. Yeah. Standard skull long cut from the look of it, but we'll we'll take a better look at it in a minute. Mm. Excuse me. A very very strong uh, spearmint smell. Okay, very strong actually. Yeah, I love that smell. I love the taste too. So I hope this doesn't disappoint me. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. All right. You know what time it is. Yes, sir. Let's pack a lip. Pack a lip with me. Oh, halfway decent pack job there. Not too awful bad. But, uh, shit. Still trying to get used to the camera being on this side instead of the other side. Tobacco God does take a slight pinch out of there, but it ain't all bad. I mean, it ain't nearly as bad as some of the Copenhagen I've had lately. All right. Pinchability on this seems to be pretty good. It isn't falling everywhere. You pinch it, it stays together. As I said, it seems to be a standard skull long cut. Not bad, actually. Nice little strandage. The strands tend to grip each other, so pinchability, very good. Let's pack her in, huh? All right, pretty soft. Wood grain mud jug again. I need to wash my homicide. All right, packs in pretty good. You get a few floaters here and there, not too bad. Once you hit that half hour mark though, see I'm looking at the wrong side of the damn camera, your phone again. Once you get to about the 30 minute mark, you start getting a ton of floaters off both sides. Well, I do. Pretty juicy, medium spit. 
Oh. It does have a, a good spearmint taste to it, but it's not nearly as potent of a taste as it is a smell. I mean, like I said, you know, you open up this can, you go to smell it. Oh, very potent spearmint taste. Smells really good. Wrong side of the damn phone. Smells really good, but it doesn't have a particularly bold flavor to it. It's actually, the flavor is very mellow. You can tell it's spearmint, but very mellow. But, uh... It, it doesn't taste as, as strong, doesn't have as strong of a taste as I had hoped it would, but it's still pretty good. I mean, but only thing I don't like is Skull always seems to give me gas, gives me the belches like a motherfucker. Not much I can do about that. Drinking sweet tea today. Uh, good stuff. My wife and her sister are from the south, and we've got her sister up here. It's nice. Sweet tea. Fantastic. Now, in terms, now we're going to talk health food, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, sir. Because this, we got to talk about the vitamin N, or nicotine level. Skull generally doesn't pack a whole lot of vitamin N punch. You know what I mean? This actually, I don't know if it's because it's spearmint, and spearmint is almost as good a carrier of nicotine into your bloodstream as uh, wintergreen is, but this seems to have more nicotine in it than the standard skull. Of course, it's also more expensive. So... It's just the way it is, but I mean, it, it does have a halfway decent amount of nicotine. I would put this at medium to medium high, because uh, I've, I've got a pretty good lip in, I mean, and uh, before too long, nicotine will start hitting me, and uh, it's, it's not too bad. I mean, it's not quite enough to, this lip right here is not quite enough to actually make me tired but I can still start feeling just the beginnings of what you might call a buzz just before I start getting tired so you know it's it's got a halfway decent amount of nicotine in it the vitamin N on this pretty decent decent amount of spit too by the way spit starts drying up by about the 40 minute mark. The flavor on this is gonna last you until give or take about the 50 minute mark. So, I mean, it, it lasts a good decent amount of time here, folks. I mean, don't, don't just write this stuff off. You know, usually I have this in for, like I said, 45 to 50 minutes, sometimes as long as an hour before I pop her out, but yeah, decent amount of spit, good last ability, decent flavor, but not as strong of a flavor as I was hoping for. Uh, pinchability is excellent. Packability, medium. You know, it's not the greatest packing stuff, but it's okay. It does pack all right. Wonderful scent on this stuff. All in all, I would say that my rating on Skull Spearmint, four. I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll probably get some more of this. Not much more, but I will probably buy a can of this from time to time, just to kind of change things up. A little bit like the peppermint, you know? I'll kind of change this things up and, and Get a little bit of variety going every once in a while, but I am not going to have a, a constant deal of this. Besides, like I said, <coughs> skull tends to give me gas. But, see y'all next time. Take care, y'all.